hey guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can quickly create doors in blender using images as pain and i have here i have already downloaded doors here and i'm gonna model this first then i'm gonna do a time lapse for the remaining two and to start you need to enable the images as plane add-on and to do that just go to edit preferences then add-ons then type in images as plane just toggle it on then let's start by importing our image and to do that just press shift plus a key on your keyboard go to image images plane then locate your image then for me this one then disable the alpha import we can now rotate this along the x-axis by 90 and to see this you can go to look dev or the material preview view for shading now i'm gonna tab into edit mode and if you don't see this spy menu here you can go to edit men menu preferences and key maps you can toggle this on tab for pie menu again tab edit mode then press a to select all then s to scale by two then we can now move this along the z-axis by pressing the g key and z then one we can now move our mannequin aside and first we need to apply the scale by pressing ctrl a then apply skill and you can use the mannequin as the reference for the height of your door or you can go to edit mode then click this drop down here then edge length you can now see that we have a two meter high door but i'm gonna disable it and let's start by removing the roughness so we can see it better maybe we can add in a gamma let's set it for 1.2 now we can now start editing by going to edit mode add a loop cut between the door panel and the door jump again to the other side and to the top and we can now go to face selection by pressing the 3 key on your keyboard then select these faces here and press p and separate selection so we can now have two objects here we can now rename this as door jump underscore zero zero one and we can now name this as door panel underscore zero zero one now we can let's start adding thickness to this by going to modifier solidify modifier and let's give it a 0 0.05 thickness and let's now work on the door panel we can go to edit mode and add a loop cut by pressing ctrl r and loop cut here we can edge slide by pressing the g key twice and we can now add another loop cut here and press the 3 key on your keyboard to face selection then select this face then press x and delete faces you can now press this one and press P again and separate selection. And you can now work this. Let's start by pressing Ctrl A to apply the rotation and scale. And add a array modifier. And we're gonna do constant. Let's set the X to 0. Then let's add in a distance along the x-axis I'm just gonna eyeball it for the sake of the tutorial and let's add a count somewhere around here let's add another one and we can now go to edit mode and press A to select all then R and X so we can make it look like a luber kind of wood slot and we can now add thickness to here by going to by selecting the object going to modifier then solidify modifier we can now set 
the thickness of this one maybe somewhere around there and next let's do this panel here we can now tab into edit mode and add a loop cut on the middle and let's bevel it something like that we can add a loop cut here too then bevel it by pressing the control b on your keyboard next let's go to face selection and select this one we need to extract this to use it as our door handle and to do that just press shift d on your keyboard to duplicate then press escape to let go then you can now press p then separate selection we can now hide this one and let's fix this texture here by going to the UV editor one way to do this is by going to UV editor in edit mode select the face then in UV editor select the face then move it along the X to a part where there is no metal like this and you can also add another loop cut here then press this space here move it along the X again scale it along the X and as you can see when you are far from the object you cannot really see that there is a seam here but one way to do this or the proper way to do this is by adding another texture and to do that just go to the shader editor then click this number here to create another or duplicate of the material then let's name that material as door panel or door or wood wood underscore zero zero one and let's import our wood texture and let's i'm gonna use this one and as you can see our texture is stretched and the way to fix this is by going to edit mode press a to select all then press u to unwrap then project from view and to adjust this you can go to the uv editor then in the this one go to edit mode then select everything then scale it up when as you can see we have here the texture that being cut and to fix that just go to the shader editor and change this clip to repeat and we, we now fix the issue and let's change this one to a better texture maybe this one UB editor scale it down something like that and we can now bring in our handle and let's select our door handle move it along the y-axis maybe give a thickness here something like that and let's create the connection between our door panel and our door handle I just add a look cut and bevel it and we're gonna go to x-ray view by pressing the alt z we're gonna select this and we're gonna select this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bevel this like this and we're gonna select the underside of the our door handle by going to face selection and selecting the face here and we can now add an inset by pressing the i key on your keyboard and we can now extrude it by pressing the e key on your keyboard just like this and we have now our simple door handle and we can now 
add a better material here or maybe we can just add metallic on the material here by dragging this bar here metallic to one we can fix the roughness here just like this and maybe we can duplicate again our material here and let's call this metal underscore zero zero one I'm gonna remove the texture I'm gonna just color it gray let's see metal yeah we can now change even the color of this one by changing the texture and to fix this issue here we can apply all the modifier and go to edit mode view and project from view and we have now here our door slots but we can fix this by going to shader or the UV editor then go to edit mode select all then we can rotate this and scale it along so it is not that redundant or repeating itself and we have now here our first door we can now join this together by selecting them all and pressing the control J so we have now one object for our door panel and we can also go to x-ray view by pressing ctrl z then select this side here and we can press shift x s shift s and cursor to selection and we can now move the origin of our object to the 3d cursor by selecting the object right click and set origin origin to 3d cursor with that we can now rotate this or pivot this along with the side if you want to animate it maybe and that's the first door now i'm gonna do the time lapse for the remaining
I have now finished modeling the last two and this is the result and I did also other doors as you can see here and you can easily create a bunch of doors on your library for you to use and you can also make them an asset so you can easily browse them on your asset library and to do that just click an object or you can click or select a group see i already made it an asset because it has this logo here and the way i did that was just select this select the whole collection right click and mark as an asset and you will find that under the unassigned here and what you can do is you can create catalog here for example if you press this plus icon here and catalog and double click on it to rename let's say doors name it steer your doors and under that you can also create a catalog again inside the exterior doors and you can name this door underscore 001 and you can now move this door by going to the unassigned and just click and drag the specific catalog you want to put it on for example this door 001 and you have now the door there and the thing about this is that you need to put this on the center of your project or the workspace because if you import this by clicking and dragging it will have this weird distance from the origin that's why you need to move this door here and then drag this As you can see it's automatically updating and that's how you fix that so yeah that's all for this tutorial on how to create a door using images plane and with that you can now populate your library with assets either doors or windows or even facades of the buildings and also these three doors will be available to download and just find the link on the description below and if you enjoyed this tutorial just let me know in the comment section below and please like and subscribe again thank you and bye